Welcome to Talking Straight. I'm Suresh Kochatal. It's a well-known fact that almost all of Malayalam news channels are anti-Modi, anti-BJP and anti-Hindu in that order. Most of the Malayalam news channels owe their loyalty to the communists and the jihadis, with the exception of Janam TV, which is a full-fledged channel owing allegiance to the Sangh Parivar. In a state where Hindus form just 50% of the population, the community never had their own voice. While CPM has Kairali News Channel, Congress has Jai Hind, the Muslim groups have got Media One, the right wing has Janam TV to fall back upon. But what most individuals who masquerade as journalists in Kerala based Malayalam news channels have either a leftist or a jihadi ideology at heart. That clearly shows in the way they report the news or conduct the debates. Even Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar's own Asianet news channel goes all guns blazing against Prime Minister Narendra Modi and BJP almost every day. Small but insignificant happenings in Delhi like a dharna by some 15 opposition leaders gets huge coverage in Asianet news. The Delhi riots and the farm bills agitation got humongous amount of coverage in Malayalam media. And the anti-Modi BJP abuses were telecast without any adherence to the code of broadcasting standards. In fact, BJP spokespersons appear only in a couple of news channels in Malayalam, including Janam TV, while there has been an official boycott of all other channels, including Asianet News. Political commentators like Srijit Panikar and T.G. Mohandas do a better job conveying the rightest point of view on news debates. Sergeant Skaria of Marunad and Malayali is another outlier who stridently espouses the cause of Modi ji and BJP while taking up cudgels against the communists and the jihadis. The fact that Marunadan is a standalone YouTube channel does not hold back its popularity as its viewership of videos surpasses that of the bigger channels, especially in the ch satellite channel space. That itself has a message about the waning popularity of satellite news channels across languages and digital media is making huge, huge gains. Which brings us back to the case of Sujay Parvati, an associate news editor with News24, or what 24 News as it's called, a channel owned by businessmen Gokul and Gopalan, and an obscure group of investors said to be from the Middle East. Sujay had come in from Asianet News and few other channels where she had worked before, and was pretty popular with the way she presented news bulletins. Things were going well for her at 24 News, but till she attended a meeting of the Bharatiya Mazdur Sangh, the trade union wing of the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh. And there she spoke glowingly about Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi and the welfare programs of the NDA government. The managing director of 24 News, Srikantan Nair, who is a commie wolf in a sheep's clothing, could not take Sujaya's praise for Modi ji and promptly ordered her suspension without even asking for an explanation from her. Except for one or two news channels in Malayalam who mentioned this illegal act, none of the other Malayalam news channels reacted to Sujaya's suspension. Of course, Sajan Skaria of Marunadan went after Srikantan Nair and Gokulam Gopalan with all guns blazing and provided updates and analysis of what really happened. His was the only voice who tried to contact Sujaya and ask her her, her side of the story, which is a basic journalistic etiquette. Sujaya, to her credit, when she was speaking to Sajan, was diplomatic and refused to aggravate the messed up situation at 24 News. Her email and SIM card was deactivated when she was suspended, and a suspension was sent to her personal email ID even when she was in office on that day. She took along, and once she was back, of course she came back because suspension was lifted, and she came back with laddus for the staff members after her ban was lifted and went to those people who made her life miserable at 24 News. Despite staying back for over four days, she could not find her tormentors at 24 News as it simply disappeared. So what will Sujaya do now? She does not look like going to Janam TV as the situation out there is not conducive right now for a professional work culture due to the lack of management of the news channel. Well, rumors abound about her move into the active politics is doing rounds. Sujaya is said to be headed to Reporter TV, another Malayalam news channel, which has seen an ownership change in the recent months. At the same time, Sujaya will stick to her affinity with the Sangh Parivar and is likely to address a few public meetings and seminars that are hosted by right-wing organizations. 
She did address a public meeting at the Tekingad Maidan, just outside the famous Vadakunadan temple in Trishur, and a 30-minute speech was analyzed in detail by many political observers. It was a Hindu Aikyavedi event, and there was a huge crowd waiting to hear Sujaya, and she did not disappoint them. Narendra Bharatam is how she described the new India. Sujaya's unceremonious suspension and her eventual resignation is something that many journalists who are working for Telugu news channels should ponder about. She just threw the resignation on the face of Srikanta Nair and walked out after she was reinstated. How many journalists working in Telugu news channel will attend a function of a political party like RSS and still get to keep their job? Hardly any of them will take a risk doing that. Most news channels in Telangana are owned by business houses and have a loyalty to the party in power. Naturally, news or whatever one wants to call it will be loaded heavily in favor of the ruling party, as is happening in Telangana. Journalism in India is a profession that has fallen on its bad days. The professors who teach journalism are themselves a product of the leftist ecosystem that have infiltrated every nook and corner of our education system. Naturally, the students who enter the academic institution come out like zombies who are brainwashed into believing that Hinduism is evil and Manuvadi is responsible for the problem that are plaguing our country. Newsrooms have till recently been the personal fiefdom of leftists and are slowly witnessing a change. There is a strong pushback from the right to counter the left. It all started in May 2014 and is picking up a slow but strong wave. Sujaya Parvati is a manifestation of that change. Ponder about it. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind. Please subscribe to Nationalist Hub English channel for more interesting videos. And don't forget to like and share this video. Nationalist Hub, it's a news revolution.